What's up guys, it's your girl Serpentine 10 and today I want to talk about the updates that have been happening with MK1. So I know we've had a lot of trailers and we already had the Lin Kuei one earlier and now we have a different one. I don't really know what this different one is called. I can't remember what the name they call themselves, the Umlati? I don't really, really know. <laughs> I think so, but they showed Lee Mei. I haven't seen Lee Mei in forever. I never thought that this character was would like come back but she looks really good um she's definitely uh different they made her older and not only her is back um tanya's back too tanya looks extremely different at first i didn't even know who this was i feel like i've seen this actress that they got this facial features from i feel like she's an actress i've seen before but y'all gotta let me know in the comments uh if y'all know her I, she looks so familiar but i really do like how tanya looks she is going crazy like usual she has the staff but it comes apart and it's like these hands that come out of it it's insane i can definitely see her doing a lot of stuff you know combos you know she can stay in the air for a long time it's crazy so they showed more story trailer with melina it seemed like she's trying to hide that she's half tart cotton it seemed like kenshi was also in that scene with her so i don't know if kenshi is a bad guy good guy i don't know but they showing a lot of the story they also showed baraka you know baraka looking like typical baraka he don't look bad he look really good um they don't ever really like do too much with baraka he's a classic character so they kind of keep him you know pretty standard what else could you do with baraka but give him more tattoos and more spikes <laughs> and make his outfit cooler but you know he's a typical baraka but they showed a lot i think the trailer is really good i think lee may and tanya look great um i'm actually surprised that they made them older i know that this is supposed to be like a different timeline apparently that lucane has made so they look older um i'm glad that they back and also i seen darius for a millisecond i don't know if y'all remember who darius is i believe that he was in deception he also showed up in armageddon i think that i really never paid him no mind it was so many characters back in the day that were just kind of like filler characters they didn't really mean anything and darius was one of them so i think that they're gonna fill up the cameo fighters with a whole bunch of people that we probably forgot about and we like who are these like darius so but you know he a cameo fighter so it, it, it's good to see him back i also feel like i seen striker again i think they showed striker possibly kentaro i can't believe that he is a cameo fighter but overall this trailer was brilliant it was great and i'm glad to see classic characters back so there is no secret that <laughs> the dlc for this uh game is insane so they chilled the dlc and it's a lot going on here um the start off it's a lot of people that i didn't even know was going to be in this dlc so i talked about it a while ago but we got omni man we got ermac we got peacemaker which is aka john cena we got quan chi takeda is back i'm actually very shocked that he's here and we also got we, we oh my god i can't even like like talk um homelander is in this homelander yeah that's who's in this uh, that's crazy like i was saying before that's a crazy dlc lineup you know i was not expecting some of those people to be even be in there um it's crazy and i wanted to go to the mk site just to see if it's updated and see if they even have those you know dlc characters on here because i'm like i want to get a better look at them i mean i was a little hung up on homelander because i have watched the boys and i was not expecting to see him in this game it's crazy if y'all have not watched the boys that character is insane he's pretty much an evil superman and i mean omni man is also pretty much an evil superman as well um i've also watched um invincible i believe that's what it's called i watched season one and he's ridiculous so i do know those characters i was expecting omni man but i was not expecting <laughs> homelander uh and then you know john cena's peacemaker character i have not watched the show that he is on doing that but i was like what is john cena doing here but you know it is what it is that's fine um i'm not even mad at it it's a crazy injustice like cast that's for sure um but i want to go on the site and see if they updated it and it seemed like they have and here we can see that they got all the characters for everybody to see. Don't forget, this game is coming out in September. So they are really, you know, trying to like pump all this stuff out to us so we can see it all. We got 
everything in detail here so if y'all have not seen these characters a little bit more up close y'all can definitely see it now on the site and we got fire god Luke kang looking good with his cool white tats we got sub zero i want to see do you press okay so when you press on stuff it kind of tells you i guess the story and what these characters have been up to so far so y'all know that y'all can go on this site and y'all can read that i'm not gonna read through all this you know i'll read through some other stuff that's like a little bit smaller than this but y'all can definitely read through this you know pause the video if y'all want to or just go to the mk site so they got sub zero they got scorpion katana who else we got in here Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage looks so weird to me in this game. I don't know if anybody else feels that way. He looks fine with the glasses on, but he is not like the best looking thing. <laughs> 21st century action hero is his little title. Um, he doesn't look the best. Um, in the trailer, he just looked really weird. I'm, I'm assuming he's supposed to be way, way older too. Probably older than he was in the other ones, but who knows? He looks okay with the glasses on, so that's good. I got Kenshi over here. Kenshi, Kenshi, Kenshi. I'm also shocked to see him. I'm really interested in his gameplay. He's using the like phantom or ghost type entity. Um, he uh, had that a little bit in other MKs, but he seems to be relying on that a lot in this one. And I think that his movesets are really, really good. So I'm very interested in giving him a try for sure. He looks like he would be a broken character, but he looks really, really cool. We got Kung Lao. Um, he does. He definitely looks different. I think that when we seen him, I don't remember him having this outfit on. He didn't look like this. He just looked kind of generic. But maybe this is what his final form is going to look like when we actually see him. And I think he looks good. So we got Melina. They really did. I feel like they did so much crazy stuff with Melina and Katana. I feel like their outfits is insanely overworked. But they don't look bad. Um, it's just like so many like little details and hooks and sh and you know it's just so many hooks and screws and stuff on their outfits. It's kind of overworked, but I don't hate it. I think I like this outfit way better than the outfit she had on the previous game. Um, Raiden, I think I mentioned before that I was not really a fan of what Raiden looked like. I just felt like he looked way too plain. I understand that he is no longer a, you know, elder god anymore. He gave all that power to, you know, Liu Kang. But I feel like he just doesn't look interesting. He just looks way too plain now. And he doesn't really stand out at all. It's kind of weird. He just kind of looks like your normal, typical NPC. And Raiden has always, like, been a favorite character of mine. But he looks a little generic in this game. But he probably is still good. I've seen his, like, fatality and stuff, and it looks really good. But I have to give him a shot because he's, like, my favorite. <laughs> So we got, you know, rain over here. I'm actually surprised he just got his hand like that. It is no rain or rain or water in his hand. It looks like he should be holding one of those, like, bubbles that he usually has. But I like his outfit. I never really played rain, ever. I don't really play the ninjas at all, like the male ninjas. I don't really play them. Um, But, you know, I might. I mean, I need to, like, branch out because I'm such a character loyalist. I never branch out to other characters. I just stick to it one person that's it but the character lineup looks a little more interesting now i'm very compelled to maybe want to use other people so we got rain here um smoke smoke looks fine um i just don't like his mouthpiece his mouthpiece is so bizarre um I'm, I'm okay with his hair. I'm glad his hair is not that wispy thing that he had in 9. I feel like his hair was so weird in, in Mortal Kombat 9. It was so weird. But he doesn't have that now. Um, Master of Stealth makes sense for, you know, Smoke. Um, so that's all the characters they have so far. It's funny because they showed other ones. I thought they would have, like, Tanya and Lee Mei on here. But they don't have them on here yet. So, and they also don't have anything about the cameo fighters except the same thing they had last time. I thought that they would maybe show a little list like this of all the cameo fighters, but they do not have that quite yet. So, we have to just, like, I guess wait and see um, if they put more things here. So, yeah, guys, I wanted to show y'all all the updates and just talk about the trailers because things are moving so fast. This game comes out in September, so they are throwing stuff at us left and right from this game. It's pretty hard to keep up. <laughs> but, you know, every time I look at something, I'm like, oh, man, I want to talk about it. But for the most part, everybody has 
seen most of this stuff so i don't have to talk about all of it but i just want to know what y'all think about you know all these mk trailers and you know what y'all think about the cameo fighter so far and what y'all think about the dlc that dropped because everybody's talking about that because it's so shocking to people um it looks like Injustice 3 to me. Like, I, I have Injustice vibes. Especially with the evil Supermans that are in this game now. <laughs> but I'm not even mad at that. I think that it's good. It's definitely fan service. Uh, given, you know, it's given fan service a whole lot. I feel like people asked for these people, probably. And they gave it to them. So, I'm not mad at that. But I want to know what y'all think. And I also want y'all to do the same thing I want y'all always to do. And that is follow me on my Twitter. And make sure you guys are checking me out here every week on YouTube. Until next time, guys. Peace.